few weeks ago in a dental hygiene forum, mostly women, the question was brought up, uh, what's the most awkward situation you've had with a male patient? Here are some of the responses. Okay, so one, one woman says, this dude who was wearing sweatpants uh, rubbed his thigh until he got an erection. Oh my God. I had a patient stick his tongue out and wiggle it back and forth and then he asked me if I liked it. Someone else says, I had a dude tell me he wanted to tie me up with the floss, and then he winked at me a couple times. Uh, multiple people have talked about how their patients reach back and grab their legs, arms, uh, rub them on the back. One patient that kept trying to tap his elbow against my boobs when I was working. After the appointment, the other hygienist just laughed. No one told me he's tried this with every single appointment. Really? And I had a male patient that always wore a fanny pack. That in itself is creepy sometimes. He would pretend to stretch while I cleaned him and then his arm would conveniently end up resting on my thigh and he would try to look me in the eyes the whole time. That's awkward. Really? Someone's staring at you the entire appointment? Don't do that patient that had a magazine in his lap. The magazine slipped off on the floor and unfortunately it had been covering up his exposed penis. What? Went to the boss and he was escorted out the door and out of the practice. I'm not making this up. Unbelievable. I had one patient ask if there were topless hygienists. Another told me that after losing 40 pounds, sorry, uh, you look great, but I'm gonna miss my head being cradled by your boobs. <laughs> I can't. Um, this, this woman worked with a hygienist that had to leave the room because his patient exposed himself completely. A guy asked me if my husband and I were swingers because he and his wife were interested in hooking up. I could never look at his wife the same way. Mind you, she was present when he asked. Here's my personal favorite because it actually did happen to me. After lots of awkward noises and kissy faces with this suction, he looked at me and said, so I guess someone would have to have a really awesome mouth to make out with you. To which I replied, uh, yeah. To which he said, so there's no chance. And I'm like, no. I commend you on your efforts, but if you ever say that again or anything like that, I'm not going to be your dental hygienist. Uh, I had a patient grab my breast in the elevator of our office, and then he said he would take me, he would like to take me to a date at the local motel and buy pizza and wine. All right. I don't even. Uh, a patient told me he had an erection and had to go to the bathroom. Mind you, she was recording the entire um, session because she, she was doing the FMP. <laughs> so the entire exchange was caught on tape and the whole office listened to it. You know what? If you tell your hygienist that you have an erection and that you have to go to the bathroom, you deserve to have that taped. I mean, and, and the office listened to it. I mean, really, Who's, who says that? Would it be inappropriate for me to take my pants off at this appointment? And that's how the visit started. I had a female patient who needed some kind of hygiene aid and I had to re retrieve it from the closet outside of my operatory. I told her I had to go get something out of the closet for her and she said, I hope you're coming out of the closet. I had a guy say, I don't want you in my mouth. Well, actually I do, just not here. You are in a dental office. You are in a dental office. We're not at a club. We're not out on the street, not in a brothel, not in a strip club. I casually commented to a male that his wisdom teeth were very small and were many looking. And he said, well, that's the only thing that's many on me. <sighs> I had a patient suck on my finger as he stared into my eyes all weird. Well, I was trying to talk my patient into letting me take x-rays and he said, listen, I'll make a deal. You can take x-rays if I can spank your ass. 
This sure would be better if the hygienist was naked. I've had several, but the worst was a new patient who came in. He was filling out his paperwork and there was a question. What brought you into the office? He replied, the hot hygienist. The appointment proceeded to include sexual harassment the rest of the appointment. He was released from the practice. Th thank God. So most recently we had a new patient come in and ask for the tall blonde from the picture on the website. I saw him a couple times. The last time he came in, I was pregnant. He actually was pissed that I was pregnant and proceeded to say how he hates children. Okay, let's just stop. These things that people say sound kind of funny. You know, we, we tend to laugh it off and be lighthearted about it, you know, but here, here's the thing. I don't care what your job title is. You should not have to deal with people grabbing your body parts, you know, coming on to you, licking your fingers, doing all these inappropriate things. But, but here's the issue. Hygienists, other healthcare providers, certain, certain people in, you know, an industry where they're, we're trying to make their clients or customers happy. We feel like we have to be professional and just deal with it. You, we don't have to deal with this. You know, sometimes you tell your bosses and they don't believe you. They're like, Oh, they're just joking. No, they're not joking. Okay, maybe lying back in a chair, you feel vulnerable. Maybe you've known your dental hygienist for quite a while and you think she's attractive, you think she's caring, she's super nice to you, maybe you like that attention, but it is not okay to sexually harass your hygienist or anybody for that matter. But, you know, we have enough to deal with on a daily basis. We were trying to do the best we can for our patients to be accurate. This is backbreaking work. Uh, we're looking at multiple things at a time to try to assess the situation and provide good care for our patients. This is one extra thing that we just do not need to deal with. Let me first just say, I'm sorry. that I know it happens every day, but honestly, you have to nip that kind of stuff in the butt. Don't encourage it. It's not funny. So thanks for watching. If you have any ridiculous stories like this you'd like to share, just comment below. And if you're looking forward to more videos, just subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks.